Well, if we are 46th in the nation and our AP scores are above the national average, if our SAT scores are at the national average, if our NAEP scores, either one is right at the national average or one is slightly below it, uh, put us right there. If our graduation rate uh, continues to improve, our dropout rate is uh, better than it has been for several decades, our language needs to be a language that points that out and then what else do we need to do because someone has moved the bar. Dale, from a business perspective, what do you see that we need to do? I, I think, Bill, and, and we had, in our conversation this morning after the, the 46th in the nation in spending came about was uh, a little bit shocking to me. But uh, on the other hand, my question was, well, where do we rank achievement-wise? And, and Bill's response, so far I think I counted four different measurements or five uh, there is no single measurement, or there doesn't appear to be a single measurement that we can measure ourselves against, against the, uh, the other states. I don't really know where we rank. I agree with Bill. I think, and Leslie, I think we're, we're way above where we are in spending, which means to me that we're pretty productive in business. We look at that from the, the standpoint of how productive can we be. If what we're spending is producing better results, it seems to me that we're doing a good job. We've got to improve that. We've got to tweak it. Just like in my business, we operate 500 restaurants. All 500 of them I wish were perfect, but they certainly aren't. So we have to work on them day in and day out. Uh, and, and we know where we want to go because we know what our goals are and we know what we're measured against. Absolutely correct. Well, so I would just say that it, it's great that North Carolina is about average or slightly above average for the country. But just as North Carolina at the beginning of the 20th century needed to be prepared to take its place in the country, the country needs to be prepared to take its place in the world. And so we have a good foundation here, and we need to build on that foundation to be prepared to meet the chap for our country to be prepared to meet the challenges of the global future. I agree, but to your point before, I was at a uh, Chamber of Commerce uh, uh, meeting yesterday. Uh, we don't need to continue to beat ourselves up as far as being, uh, you know, for this and for that. Uh, and the Chamber of Commerce obviously is uh, it's a local Chamber of Commerce, but they're very good at, at giving out our own rankings. Uh, for instance, the number one healthiest housing market for 2011, the Raleigh Cary area, Builder Magazine. Uh, the number four metro in 10 year job growth, Raleigh Cary area, Business First, February 2011. Uh, the number one business climate in 2010, North Carolina, from Site Selection Magazine. The number three best state for business, North Carolina, Forbes. The number three, my interesting uh, area, the number three hospitality job growth, North Carolina. So we have a lot to be, think and, and we didn't get to any of these things with a terrible public education system. We have a good public education system. We need to improve our public education system. When I, when I was growing up in Durham, rural Durham, I can still hear the voices of my teachers. And in order to spur us on and motivate us, they would use language like, the kids three schools down are doing this. And then the language changed to over in the next county, they are doing this. And then it moved from the next county to the next state. Well, where we are now in North Carolina is 
we heard China thrown out this morning. And we know about what's going on in India, and we can start calling the road. How do we get that thing? Sure, and, and, and I agree, our language needs to change. I think we need to focus in on, on the positives. I think we need to point out exactly what's working well as well as what's not working so well. But how do we get that in a national focus when we, for years, have been told that this is the U.S.? We're number one in the world. Uh, therefore, everyone else is learning from us. How do we change that philosophy to the point that we too can learn and that there is so much more we have to do? What must we do? You want to tackle? I think uh, I think uh, as as in most cases, Bill, uh, the marketplace is going to determine that for us. Uh, if we don't uh, if we don't work hard. To, uh, to improve our education system, to improve our business ability, to improve our economic standing, then the marketplace, which is now the world, will determine that for us. And we will no longer be number one if we, uh, if we don't improve that. Okay. 